This is the uh, transport system from island to island. Long tail boats, they call them. Yeah. We've been in the boat for about 10 minutes and it's going really slowly. So now we think that we're going to be transferred onto this. Which is much more comfortable than this, I think. I hope. Sorry. We're now in Koh Phi Phi. Um, we have a two and a half hour break here before we head on to Phuket. Um, this is like a really narrow little strip of land, a beach on either side. And it got kind of devastated in the tsunami in 04. So we're now seeing a lot of tsunami evacuation work signs. It said basically everything in between the two beaches was completely destroyed. Mm -hmm. I'm assuming the evacuation um, route is just to the top of that little yeah, hill. Yeah. Um, we walked from one beach to the other in like two minutes, so it's not very big. It's not very wide. It's pretty long. That's what she said. This is a tsunami shelter that we just found on Koh Phi Phi. And it's like two stories raised from the ground. The room in it, the shelter. Hmm. We're on our way back to the boat. We're leaving PP now. This is pretty, basically what it looks like. You never know when the tour is central. Oh, really? It's like guest houses, restaurants, bars, tattoo shops, and massage parlors. Yeah, and that's it. That's it. And tourist shops, like tour booking shops, travel agents, like that. So it's pretty repetitive. I'm fine just spending a day here. Yep. And by a day, I mean three hours. So we just got off the boat, we're now in Phuket, um, and we paid, we prepaid for a taxi, but I guess so did all these other people, um, so I guess it kind of isn't first come first serve, it's just wait until you're lucky enough for a taxi to go by, and um, we stop him, I guess. We should just start asking other people, like, I, where do we go? I agree. Here. So we're now in... Phuket Town, which is the capital of Phuket, which is the largest island in Thailand. Um, we were reading that this used to be a mining town and I think a tin making town in the 19th century, so there's a lot of old style architecture. Definitely very different than the rest of Thailand. They call it Sino architecture or Sino European. I don't know if that means mixed with like a Singaporean style hmm. or not. I'm not sure what Sino means. So we're look up later. Okay. Um, so yeah, we're gonna stroll around and find some food. What else is there to do in life? Yeah, <laughs> so to eat and be merry. Actually not too bad now, it's not so hot. Agreed. Feels good. Well, we're not inside of a bar with no air moving yet. That's an interesting offering to a god. Rice, ice cream, incense, and fish. <laughs> so we're playing pool. Justin just beat the pants off of me. And um, he's putting the rest of my bowls in. Because <laughs> I got too tired. It is really hot in here. There's no AC, it's just a fan. But it's fun! Oh, you got it! Yeah, that was a lucky one, though. Damn. It wasn't where I was aiming. So, we're on the roof of our hostel. Not very exciting. <laughs> 
Well, I mean, this was an option for a room. I mean, how would we have gotten our bags up here? This, that would have been terrible. This is the room we could have had. So this is our private balcony. <clears throat> and our hostel room. It's really nice, air conditioned. Hanging up all of our wet clothes from sweat. Yeah, this is our beautiful room. Um, so we're now at Patan. Beach. Um, this place is described as a party capital of Asia. Um, and it's kind of crazy. This is sort of like where Jersey Shore Thai, <laughs> the Thai season would be filmed in this place right here. It's just all kinds of bad people that shouldn't live. <laughs> Like Thank sort you. of the Jersey Shore, no, but you. like with a Thai spice to it. So that means it's like weirder. And, I don't know. I'm not sure how to describe it. Just crazy. Um, there's a lot of lady boys and <laughs> ping pong shows and things of that nature here. So use your imagination. Kristen wants to go.
transport called a song with the U, something like that. I'm sure I'm mispronouncing it, but that's what they call it in Thailand. It's basically a pickup truck with benches in the back. Normally it's way more crowded than this, but uh, we're taking a trip across the whole island. It's only 10 k's, but I guess it's uncommon enough to do at night. So, yeah. Back to the boring part of that.